Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our first episode of WWW, Wednesday's Word to the Wise. I am your hostess, Candice Fraser. Our first word of contemplation is I. I is a pronoun. Now, don't be alarmed by that statement, I is. I am in no wise committing language fraudulence. I'm simply referencing I as the word under study. The word I is classed as a subjective personal pronoun, which is indicative of the fact that I as a pronoun is acting as the subject of the sentence. As a nominative case of the first person pronoun, I will always take am as a verb in simple present tense. Is will never be used. The word I is a first person singular pronoun, which means that it is used by one person to refer to himself or herself. I as the subject pronoun is used for the one doing the action. I therefore, when used in the present tense, is accompanied with the verb am. Additionally, there is often some contention as it pertains to the complete eminent in the English language. As established earlier, the word I is a singular pronoun, but note this, it always takes the plural verb. For instance, I walk, I talk, I sing, I pray, I believe, I hope, I live, I belong, and so forth. Let us now have some scriptural meditations inclusive of the subject I. This is Jesus, our universal teacher, the one who possesses infinite wisdom speaking here. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. And I am Candace Fraser, wishing you a winsome Wednesday as you willingly work for and worship our warrior, Christ Jesus. See you next week, God willing, same time, same place, same motive, offering you a word to the wise.